Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Chris. I read a statistic a number of years ago where it said it takes seven compliments to erase one insult. And I remember uh, when I was coaching hockey for you in, in the USA Hockey Association, they used to teach us on how to bring a correction to a skater. And they used to say, build a compliment sandwich. Always start out by praising the player, giving the corrective and ending up in praising the, the player. And it is so important that we give words of encouragement, that we tell other people that how God values them and how important they are. And, but it's really different when we begin to tell other people how great we are. It has the actual diverse effect of what a compliment uh, has on a person when they start telling you how great they are. And here's a verse that I want to read to you this morning. It's in Proverbs uh, 27 verses 2. It says, let another praise you and not your own mouth, a stranger and not your own lips. Now there's just something about getting an encouragement from someone else. It just builds us up. But when we begin to tell people how great we are, when we begin to boast about how wonderful we are, it has the actual effect on ourselves and those around us. Have you ever watched a sporting event and you see someone incredibly cocky? You see somebody patting themselves on the back, more so than the fans who are watching it. Normally inside of us, we always think of that that verse in Corinthians where it says pride comes before a fall. And what this proverb is encouraging us to do is to wait and let other people encourage us and praise us. That's why it's so important as Christians that we take the opportunities. We don't lie. We don't make them up. But when someone does someone nice and someone does something kind, we encourage them. But what we definitely need to do as a Christian in humility is always let someone else do it to us and not ourselves. Otherwise, we look arrogant. We look prideful. And there's an old uh, Latin saying, which I will not read to you because I'm not well good at Latin, but it says, the praise one bestows upon oneself is of little value. Self-praise is offensive. It's counterintuitive to itself. So be encouraged. Look for opportunities to praise other people, but don't look for opportunities to praise yourself. So as you go through this day, I pray that God will put someone in your path that will thank you for something that you're doing or acknowledge something that they see you doing uh, in, in reflecting your character or something like that. But don't take opportunity to boast about yourself. It works, it's, it's diversity works against itself. So be encouraged today. God bless.